Hello there, Leo, and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing well. And Leo, let's go ahead and find out what spirit wants you to know when it comes to your current situation for Leo in sun, moon, rising, and Venus. We got growth. You know what I'm seeing is seven of pentacles here. So you might be having a little bit of a hard time waiting for, you know, some results, especially when it comes to um, rewards, seeing your fruit ripen in life, right? But there is something about you enjoying the journey, enjoying the stretch, enjoying the expansion, because you are in this place of real advancement and growth. I actually sense um, seven of pentacles with uh, three of pentacles here. So speaking of that, you could be harvesting something right at the same time of establishing and building more um, prosperity or wealth or stability in one's life. So good for you. Um, you know, I was talking about seven of pentacles and three of pentacles. Those are associated with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm just putting out the zodiac signs. Take them how uh, they resonate for you. Don't worry if it doesn't. We have adversity. I accept the cha that challenges are the best way to learn. You know, I get five of wands with this, and there is a card that wants to come out with this adversity. Let's see. Okay, look at that card just falling out like that. Focus upon your strengths. Okay. Now, this may be challenging, not for all of you, but maybe for some, okay, just because, you know, you are on this period of maybe questioning wh whether or not you're establishing or doing something right and good. And right now, you do want to focus on your strengths. That's what's going to increase your strengths and weaken and hopefully get rid of any type of negative thinking, beliefs, it's like something here really made you a lot stronger in a situation more than you maybe possibly could ever know, but you might be finding out. Come out of the closet. Leo, it is time for you to really step into your own power right now. Absolutely. I'm just seeing like a strength card. We'll see if it comes out. We only have one tarot deck that we're working with, but this come out of the closet is really speaking about not worrying about judgments from others. Um, maybe it is a time where, you know, you want to speak your truth loud and clear. So go ahead and do that. Or maybe there's something about you expressing, you know, your own unique qualities, appearance and coming out and not being afraid. Let's see. Let's get a little bit more with come out of the closet for Leo. I feel, oh, look. Yeah, I really see leader quality here. Come out of the closet when it comes to your talents, your gifts, you, your expressions, your ideas. It is valued and it is needed. I feel good when I can help others. You know, what's interesting too, is I was sensing five of wands with this. So, you know, this could be an internal conflict rather than, um, you know, others, or you're questioning your own abilities. Maybe you're comparing yourself. Don't do that. This is why spirit is saying, keep your eyes trained on yourself. You will have success. Okay. And I am hearing the word, you know, undoubtedly will have success. Don't give in to doubts, especially when it comes to what you can offer or do when it comes to servicing others. And this can really help you get out of any type of challenge or funk in life, okay? Because you do feel good when you are helping others. So come out. Maybe you've been indoors too long. Maybe it's time to reveal yourself or maybe it's not coming outdoors. Maybe it's online or something like that. You know, wherever you can, wherever you can offer yourself, do that. Okay. What else? Because I was sensing three of pentacles and when you're out and about too, you're starting to gather ideas, um, establishing yourself because you're, you know, 
soaking up some knowledge and putting it out there for growth and abundance. And so you're attracting, you know, people, knowledge, uh, you know, circumstances and situations that can help you further your growth here. So good. I mean, it's like you're more than ready if you've been questioning your ability to take the lead in something. And maybe it is just about focusing on service. Maybe something else has got you a little bit, you know, challenged, right? So it's going to cause you to have more mental concentration with focusing on your strengths, not on comparing yourself to others or what others are doing, perhaps, or feeling the need to compete because it's not a race. All right, what is this? <laughs> This, this is coming out. Of, okay. What that one was coming out a little bit challenged. So there may be some challenge right now with you utilizing logic and organization, maybe staying disciplined. You know, this is leadership here and it's all about, you know, taking the lead and not being afraid to uh, be the leader here. You know, we're talking about you being in your power. Well, the emperor is all about being in your power for sure. I mean, focus on your strengths. So there's something about not giving into anything that can weaken you, right? You're not doing that. Um, let's get a little bit more because this was a, there was definitely another card that wants to come out with the emperor. Aries is associated with the emperor. What do you want Leo to know with the Emperor? You are at this place of continuing to master something. Look at this failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. And this is why the, this card was coming out actually in reverse. So there was some challenge here. Maybe you're feeling a challenge by someone too. You know, you could have someone that's very strong, rigid. They could be like a parent or, a, you know, someone with, you know, great authority or they, they at least exude that. But, um, you know, take that if it resonates. But, you know, this is all about you embodying the emperor. Just take a little bit of time if you need to, to get organized, get a little, maybe get a structure um, implemented or you know, change your structure if you need to, so that you are staying disciplined. You're, you're really on a path of leadership. So you're ready for the next level. And this is the thing that I was getting was advancement here. And without mistakes, you can never get really good. You know, you just can't, it's impossible. Meet one successful person in life and ask them if they've failed Yes, they have many times. What else for Leo? I feel there's something about you not giving into or feeling like your growth is being stunted. Now you do need to, not all of you, but some of you may need to watch out for you know, maybe drama kings or queens in life or even social media here because that could really be a drag and it could take you away from something where what we're doing is it's just like exercise, right? Um, you got to keep exercising to see results. It's the same thing with the mind and beliefs. You got to keep implementing. You got to keep being aware. You got to keep focusing on the good, the strong. This is what produces good results in your life and helps you stay very strong and rooted and grounded and not questioning yourself. Indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. So we might be in a place of questioning something or feeling blocked. Go on the path that resonates with your um, you know, mind, body, spirit, everything. We'll get a little bit more too. So we do have surrender. Wow. You may need to bide your time for some results but or bide your time for something here. I can release my need to control. <laughs> and we have that sense of five, uh, five of wands. Let me get a little bit more with the indecision. What do you want Leo to know? I sense swords energy with that indecision. 
It's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And I feel this card wants to speak too. We got the three of earth. Earth. This is the three of pentacles that I was picking up earlier with the seven of pentacles at the beginning of the reading. The power of creativity. Recognition for high quality work. So uh, if you're not receiving that, keep doing what you're doing and you will, okay? Be a team player. This might be a time where you are coming into, you know, again, expansion, expanding with others, collaborating with others. But most importantly, if you don't resonate with collaborating with others, you know, the forces of nature the are working with you. Your surroundings is, you know, going through some type of great growth here. And we do have to give up the need to figure out what's going to happen here with the three of pentacles. All you're doing is just doing your due diligence. And I do like the surrender card here because I'm noticing the butterfly and the three of pentacles, enjoying your wings, enjoying your achievements, taking your time with things. Okay, so I was getting a card for the indecision here. Let's get a little bit more with that. For Leo, please. There's intend and create. Here's the high priest, which I sense him as the um, emperor mixed in with the magician card. So right now we do have to stay focused. Your, you know, intention is everything right now. We were getting this with, in, oh, let's see what's this and hold the space. Okay. So you don't want to make any huge changes actually right now. This isn't the time to do anything maybe crazy and impulsive. In fact, also don't question what you have attained thus far, uh, you know, materially or non-materially, both of it, right? There's just something about you holding that space. You have earned or are maintaining a sense of integrity and that, you know, and this is this whole thing about the emperor really holding that space, um, not moving here. You know, we're not doing anything to, we're not doing anything drastic. So we may have something going on here too, Leo, where you might be questioning yourself because, you know, uh, the appearance appearances in life aren't, you know, showing you everything, but the three of pentacles is definitely indicating advancement material gains, um, physical, you know, and also your, something about your physical well-being improving as, um, as well. So take that if it resonates. And I'm also hearing, don't do anything too risky at this time. The only thing that I feel that you need to risk on is just surrendering the need to control the outcome or sway the outcome or try to figure out too much. We may be obsessing about one um, path, one road, one outcome. And all you got to do is just hold that space and not question your own, um, abilities to be in this emperor position. Okay. Okay. Some of you might be, or may have already, uh, manifested a dream position for yourself or you, or you will. What else? Oh, no wonder. Energy healing. You, look at this thing about um, Apollo here, focusing upon your strength. And there may be something magical with your hands as well. Something about the hands is really standing out to me. And of course, we do have energy healing. So you do have the ability, and some of you are already doing this, right, with service, healing yourself, healing others. You are a channel for this. So it is important to hold that space um, and also to make sure you're doing things to, um, you know, kind of be consistent on purifying your own energy, right? Because as an energy healer, you can definitely pick up on and absorb others, um, feelings, okay. And thoughts as well. So it is important that you are, uh, doing something consistently as much as you can, um, when it comes to devoting your time and your energy 
to this sacred uh, process and the sacred activation, okay? Continue to focus on your strengths because you are being called to come out and be of service, <laughs> whether you're ready for it or not. And, 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 you know, don't, don't stop yourself just because maybe you failed at something or something didn't go the way that you wanted. I've been doing energy healing for many, many years, and I never thought that I would be actually doing what I'm doing right now. Um, you know, life has really taken me on a, on a journey here, but that's because I kept surrendering and I wasn't, uh, I just was just allowing the universe to show me the way to just show me the way of where I need to be in life at that time for service. What else? No, you, you're going through five of pentacles here. You are going through a sense of feeling maybe alone, but that, you know, that alone time is actually sacred time. It is a time to really hone in on your own uh, gifts, your talents, because they're very unique, but know that you're um, never alone. And we do have the three of pentacles. Now I do see a person, okay? Because the emperor is showing up here like twice pretty much. So I do see a person here actually a good person. So you may be, um, you know, gifted that opportunity with the three of uh, earth to connect with someone that could help, uh, you know, establish more for yourself and vice versa. It's about reciprocity here. So there's something about you never feeling disconnected or alone. In fact, you need to get plugged in. You need to charge your own batteries. You might even been feeling really depleted, which is maybe causing you to also be very moody. Okay. Um, I want more with the loneliness for Leo. Something's being a drag. Something's a drag. Or maybe there's something about a drag queen. I don't know. Um, that was, or something's a drag. Just come out and be as you are. Ten of fire. I was just hearing drag. Something's a drag. Ten of fire is heavy burdens. It's it, something's a drag. Too much work. Too much of something, you know, except help from others. Yeah, that could, this is leading to burnout. This is why you need to just surrender and hold this space. You might be working too hard at something that, you know, uh, like you're working too hard to the proportion of things right now. Stress-related health concerns. Yeah, take care of your health. I was getting something about your physical body and being, you know, maybe aware of that more. Life is out of balance. This is the 10 of wands. So we got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Hmm. Quit trying to do everything on your own. Leo, you... This is another thing too, as you're stepping up and up leveling in what, and whatever area in your life, you are going to have a new set of maybe beliefs, um, ideas, tradi traditions implemented, and also new responsibilities, which is going to cause you to have to let go of some older responsibilities and really trust others. Okay. Either get rid of it or delegate it. Um, take a vacation if you need to. It's like, this is this, it's like you're, you're going from the five of wands. It's like five of wands to the five of pentacles to the 10 of wands. It's very conflicting, but it's like, we're just bouncing off of each one of these. It's just a bounce, 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 bounce. Okay. So let's get a little bit more with this. Let's get the advice for this, please. For Leo with the 10 of fire. What's the advice for Leo right now with the 10 of fire? <clears throat> Oh my God. <laughs> the only, okay, I'm hearing a salt and pepper song. Push it real good. You know that song. That song's like really famous. But like to me, I know, I know what's the song, what's, what it's about. But I'm also kind of getting this thing where it's like, 
you know, you've been working hard. Like some, it's like someone wants to work hard for you. Like let them work hard for you. <laughs> So you may need to practice now. Oh, nice. Hey, you know, your hard work is paying off big time. It is paying off big time. This is why you're sitting at the three of pentacles. You got the six of, of fire. You've got the six of wands, which I love to see because I was sensing uh, this, uh, the adversity card as, um, at, uh, as five of wands. So victory, good news is on its way. Public recognition or awards. So your hard work is paying off, but keep things in balance. Okay. Let's see. And the dreamer. So you do need to, you do need to drop some things if you haven't already. Now, if you've already like taken a risk <laughs> or maybe that's what it seems like of letting go of something, or maybe just releasing any additional baggage. Now, some of you, not all of you, but there could be some, a very small amount. You might be feeling like you're doing a lot of healing work for someone and having to drag them and carry them into light and love. It's going to be a waste of your time. Let others do things on their own accord and just be an inspiration anyways. You're just a magnet anyways. So a leap of faith, follow your dreams. Unexpected opportunities are coming your way. So there is something with letting go of the need to control because something will exceed your expectations. And there is a strong indication about being recognized for something that you're doing or something that you're exuding, projects, work, whatever, studies. So we have victory of let also letting go. You know, it's, it's like also having victory and recognizing the, what you need to let go of so that you have more control. So you can just hold the space. Remember, you're not wanting to do anything too like crazy or risky, but you do want to relieve yourself of, of unnecessary extra burden. It's just, it's necessary. You, you need to give into this energy healing right now. What else? Speaking of seven of pentacles, some of you guys do feel that something really did fail and perhaps it did, but never underestimate your ability to bounce again. <laughs> Failure is only like, you know, more uh, skills in your pocket to go through life, you know, fast when you need to take those quantum leaps when you need to. So it's not, it's not like you ever, you know, slow down. It's just how you, um, you know, see this. Look at, this is so perfect. We got balance card, which this is a uh, temperance and temperance is associated with uh, Sagittarius, the need for balance and moderation. And there may be something with that, with foods, um, maybe the need to detox from people, things, environment, you know, you could be sensitive um, to things around your environment. So just you know, try to take care of yourself and honor that, that need for a detox or that need for time alone. You are waiting uh, for perfect timing. And I felt like I was saying that like bide your time for better results. And this is your better result or your better opportunity. So this is, this is going to be something that will bring you great peace, like a peace of mind. Cause you're not rushing something. You're not rushing the growth you're not rushing the process. You're holding the space. And while you're doing that, you've got this angel that is creating a beautiful opportunity for you. Now, also, if you are feeling alone and you do have friends and family or people or a community, um, maybe you've been thinking about it or flirting with that idea, go and connect. Okay. Do what you can now to feel, fill your cup up. It's all about surrounding yourself with things and ideas and people that are a positive reinforcement, not a negative reinforcement. We have, we already have too much negativity in the world anyways, you know, <laughs> come on. Freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Yeah, there's something that I feel that you are releasing yourself of. Maybe it's like, um, you know, regret 
or, you know, maybe some type of hurt for some. Hmm. I feel like another card wants to come out with that. Peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. We're just talking about you releasing all that negative energy uh, by holding the space. I want more with freedom. I was seeing, like in my mind's eye with this freedom card, I was seeing the Doreen Virtue Romance Angel cards with the unicorn with the freedom. It, it's time for you to take control of your back or something, take back control of your life. And it's like that unicorn that's like trapped in a little arena. And it's like you're too you're too big for that. It's like you grew out of some type of situation. Yeah, detach from drama. My goodness. We just need to let it go somehow, some way. Don't get involved if you don't need to. You already know or may see. This is why I saw that five of wands. So just let go of drama or watching drama. Seek peace, right? I feel that nature, actually, nature is your best friend. You may even feel, yeah, especially with that energy healing card, solace in, in nature here. Do whatever you can to reduce stress. This is the idea. This is where you're stepping into the emperor. You're really standing your position and your ground of what your needs and your wants are. You've got to do what you need to do to reduce stress. You've taken on a lot. My God, you've taken on a lot. I can tell. I can see. So now that you've taken on a lot... You're in the process of needing to re recover a bit, recuperate a bit, to pull in your energy just a little bit here and gain clarity and, and make sure that others know your boundaries and your position in life too because there's something about commanding respect, right? Not in a way where we're triggering others. I, you have to respect me, but uh, just your presence and who you are, what you've done, uh, what you stand for. That in itself exudes respect. All right, let's see what else. Mother, wife, sister, and daughter. There may be something with a, you know, mother energy here or a feminine that we've had to do some great healing or we've had to really um, nurture the feminine aspect of oneself, you know, to really love oneself, be comfortable with oneself as much as possible in one's own skin. Let's go a little bit more, though, with the mother and wife, sister, daughter. This would be like the counter... Um, part to the high priest the, and the emperor here. Let's get more with the mother, wife, sister, daughter. And also, you know, that's that, that's a feminine energy. So we're trying, I feel that with that temperance, we're trying to balance, get that balance between that, all that fire energy, you know, that, that drama, which you know, it was like wasting your passionate and good creative juices and tempering it with, you know, love and compassion and nurturing something new or someone. Let's get more with this mother, wife, sister, daughter for Leo. Eight of water, a desire to move on, the search for something more meaningful, a spiritual and emotional growth. So taking care of your needs, you could be moving on from a relationship um, as well. But what I see is, you know, this whole thing about nurturing yourself, guiding yourself and allowing yourself to connect with those that are meant for you on your path. Now with the eight of water, if things or people are meant for you, they will catch up. So, you know, this could bring about mixed emotions. But yeah, we could be separating ourselves from, you know, s some type of home environment or relationship because you are in this process of great growth. And 
And I do see Empress with this. And the Empress is also about abundance, okay? So, yeah, there's something about going towards more abundance in life. What else? Change. We're having a hard time with this change, though. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without a move without movement. And we've got that growth card and we have the eight of water, which is all about evolving here. So yeah, we're just having to get, and then we got the empathy, you know, we're talking about this thing about nurturing yourself here with that feminine energy. So I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. So there may be something here too. If you're in the midst of some type of drama, or if you find yourself coming up against some drama, you may need to bide your time, you know, not, not react or do something totally like, I know it can be hard not to be reactive, but there may be something here where you can have the opportunity or the awareness to remain unattached emotionally to things that could really you know, trigger or send, you know, give you more turmoil than necessary. But, you know, and also being able to see both sides of a situation where, you know, two, two truths can exist, right? Because <laughs> it can. So we are in this place of moving on and evolving. Now, some of you, you might be, I'm, some of you might be waving someone goodbye here as well, especially if you're a parent or, you know, I don't know for some of you there, it, I guess it doesn't have to necessarily be a parent, but I do see something strong about parent and maybe like saying goodbye to their children. Maybe they're going off to college or something or moving out of the house or something like that. But anyhow, be, be strong and know that whatever you've taught them and you know, that they're going to make the best decisions for themselves, okay? Right now, it's your time to give to yourself. Anyhow, take that if it resonates. It won't for all of you. I know that. But this is a time, too, to have a lot of self-compassion for yourself, you know, because you are going through these changes and you're having to, you know, remain strong and steadfast. What else? This one wants to come out. We got the eight of fire. Um, events moving at a fast pace. Delays are over. Many things are going to be happening at once. Let's see what else is going to come out. And the three of fire. Okay, this is about delays are coming to an end here. Abundance, by the way. You got the three of fire and the three of pentacles. Abundance, things are looking very good. Have patience at this time and make long-term plans because things looks like things are going to be uh, picking up <laughs> and you are receiving great uh, spiritual acceleration and help from the heavens and you're receiving messages. I feel that there, there's a lot of messengers and messages guiding you to look out on the horizon and keep, um, you know, your, you know, to know that your future is bright and to stay optimistic about your future we got fire sign coming through, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What else? Oh, that's it. Some of you, there could be something about an islander. I was hearing something about an islander or an island or traveling possibly for some of you. Not all of you, I know. But eight of fire can speak about air travel. Three of wands could be speaking about some type of arrival here. Someone could be arriving or you could be arriving and landing in a good spot. Let's find out um, how spirit is currently helping you that you need to be aware of. Balance. That's perfect because we even had the balance card with temperance. It landed right on balance too. <laughs> That's I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So there's a real place of, you know, that I see you coming into if you're not there yet, where, you know, you, you are just allowing everything to exist all, all at it, right. You know, exists all at the same time. We're not even giving into harsh judgments or labeling things. 
You might even be wanting to simplify things. You might even be simplifying things and maybe just getting back down to the basics. And that, that's, a, that's never a bad idea. <laughs> sometimes we need to do that because sometimes we, we end up accumulating too much, you know, but spirit is helping you bring harmony into your world. This is this, this opportunity that's coming and waiting for that perfect timing. Let's find out what you have to look forward to in the near future. Honesty. You can expect honesty from someone here, right? You possibly couldn't deal with it. Or you might even see something when it comes to what needs to be seen through others. I can't always expect truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. You know, holding the space here, being true on your, to yourself, to, to others, or whatever you've got going on that's important. I'm going to get one more, too, for what you have to look forward to in the near future. And I see that honesty, too, with that dreamer, which is the fool's card, because you're at this place of, you know, um, innocence and purity. Oh, look at that card wants to come out. Let's see. Oh, radical acceptance. This is awesome. This is this whole change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. And we have radical acceptance of yourself, possibly another here, because you are a beloved child of the universe. And we do have a beloved. So there may be something really important when it comes to really feeling accepted and love for all of your, you know, uh, weirdness and non-weirdness that we all carry within ourselves. But you're also accepting something here and relieving yourself of unnecessary burdens and stress, past perceived mistakes, and also being willing to make new and fresh mistakes, right? <laughs> because, hey, without mistakes, we don't learn, and it can actually be fun, and it could lead you, you know, it's funny, because sometimes you, you, if you look back, sometimes these mistakes um, end up being, like, perfect, <laughs> Anyhow, I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.